Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm BuffBud, and today we are back with another episode of Life is Strange 2. Last episode, we checked out uh, our grandparents' house a little bit. Uh, we had breakfast, we found out that our grandfather has actually seen Daniel doing all of his, uh, all of his uh, magic stuff. Um, let's see, we went outside to go check out the toys, and then Daniel caught Chris as he was about to fall from the treehouse. And, uh, yeah, that happened. So, yeah. Oh, and the note here. Um, I'm at the neighbor's. So, we now have to go, uh, over there. Which I don't really feel good about. Alrighty. So, I suppose let's head over there. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Oh, hello. Well, Morning, I guess they won't heads. be back for at least two hours. Uh, we'll let you sleep in today while we're at church. Back by noon for lunch. See you in a bit. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. The Christmas tree is perfect. Good job, kids. Uh, PSS, thank you for tidying up a bit. Aww. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? No. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. No. Don't even think about it, dude. It is way too risky. Okay. Let's get this Brack back home now. Alright, let's head over there. Dude, move your ass. Who knows what Daniel's doing? Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Oh, don't just go in. Daniel, what's going on here? Uh, Sean, wait. Oh, God. Don't freak out. So it is exactly as I thought. But he's going to ruin it. Sean is gonna ruin the entire thing. I right, can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, <sighs> but I have a superpower. You oh, saw me yesterday. God. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. <sighs> Pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. So, if we would have found his whole costume while playing that game, would he have it right now? Now I'm actually a little bummed out that we didn't find the whole costume. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. Mm. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... He does have the, uh, the signal. tattoo. Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. Oh god. What's your super name, Sean? Oh god, do I have to actually choose? Oh god dang it! Silver Runner, don't need one. L... Diaz Blow? Diaz Blow? Professor Diaz. I like that. Um, how about if I'm like the mentor? Like Professor D or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll figure out another corner. <laughs> hey guys, I think we're ready to roll. Oh, hey. Who are you? Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, oh, or yeah. they're gonna take over the world. So wait, have, have they been doing their superpower in front of him? Because that's worrying. Because if he has never seen his son do this before, then some neighbor kid shows up, and then magically his son is doing this. Yeah. That could be worrying. Sure a lot of things. As thick as thieves. 
Can we go get the Christmas tree now? Oh dear. We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going well, on. Well, obviously here. I'm gonna come along. Yes. I'm not gonna leave yeah, my freaking brother with a stranger. Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. <sighs> we really shouldn't go out. Yeah, why not? Sure. Um. Okay. Sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Oh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh. Uh-oh. Score! Oh, no. He's going to try and use his power, and it's not going to work. Frick. Daniel, what, what have you done? You're a new member of the team? You have to know everybody. Oh, no. These are Captain Spear's friends. And his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Oh, boy. I don't remember. Uh, Insectoid, I remember, is a villain. Um, Power Bear is a hero. You sure? Um, I'm pretty sure the Dino was a hero as well. The Car is a villain. Warrior, I'm pretty sure was a villain. Then the pi Sky Pirate, this is a hero for sure. Confirm. Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. Ah! It was a bit tricky. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. Who did I get wrong? This is Team Spirit. Oh, the Warrior is a good guy, okay. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's not Terrius and the Oh, there were only Singer. two, three-ish. There's three -ish. but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Uh, your father. Yeah, no. Mm. Not afraid. Your father knows. Um. Does your dad know about your superpower? Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Yeah, um, sure. I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Good plan. Um, cool treehouse. <laughs> well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that drawing you made of him, with that badass blazing sword. I made it to thank him for making the treehouse. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Uh, now well, it needs a little fixing now. Well, the flying forges needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, what happened? Um, Chris, it's none of my business, but did something happen between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Hmm, 
Yesterday, she told Steven about those bruises on your arm. I think they had a talk with Charles about it. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Uh, uh it's gonna be okay. Chris. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. <sighs> About that. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. my jacket I don't want you catching another cold you guys are not I'm seriously good. riding in the back of that pickup truck and don't through... be waving your arms around when I'm driving oh okay. god they are yeah. they're actually riding in the back Remember, during Daniel, winter don't mess around all right Jesus. yeah that's totally safe Sean was just clipping through the back there a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. I have a feeling that something bad's gonna happen, and this is gonna be the hey. end of the uh, episode. You guys go ahead, and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But don't get lost, dude. What the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Ah! Protect the secret. Stop lying to Chris. How much damage is Chris going to do? Daniel knows not to share it with anyone else. And Chris is not going to tell his dad. Protecting the secret. That's not protecting the secret. That's protecting us. Stop lying. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Okay, so now wow. it's my turn. So many trees. Care spray. Ugh. What? They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. 
Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. I bet Dad didn't know about this. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. You coming, Sean? <laughs> Don't tree worry. Tree wrapper? Behold. The giant condom machine. Don't That's worry. That's weird. I'll be around. <laughs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help Dad? <laughs> of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. All right, you guys do that. I'm gonna wander around. Find Daniel a Christmas present. Okay. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. <laughs> Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Bet he loved this. No, you're not gonna steal a yo-yo from this the donation so box. From Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Whoa. The guy who painted that must have been seriously high. Eh, well, what are you gonna do, right? Oh, sit and draw. Sure, why not? Okay. And draw. Got it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. How can this I've kid draw this quickly, Punch by the way? Like, that must be his superpower. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. Yep. But I can add more details if I want. All right, now up. And finish her off. There we go. What are you drawing? Whoa, it's so cool. Are you like a professional? <laughs> no, more like the opposite. You could draw comic books. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for Hollywood man. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. I have to Big choose, question. don't I? God dang it. Zombies, Zombies? spaceship. Or UFO. <sighs> Do a UFO. Mm, what about a giant spaceship? Flying over Beaver Creek. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and Daniel's face. Like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. Keep it up, kid. Make your dreams come true. Alright. Now we need to get up and find a present. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. Oh, presents. Oh, but I don't have enough money. We only sell handmade local products. Come take Ugh. a look. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Wait, ha... No, I was thinking maybe uh, Claire gave us a bit of extra money, but no. I miss Dad. Dang. Come on. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Reynolds, uh, god dang it. The Reynolds? Everybody knows Steven. 
He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Really? Um, you're not his grandson, are you? Uh, I am, yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, um, look around. And if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special rental <gasps> discount. Which is... You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Okay, I only picked that one. Probably. Pick one. I only have enough money for a snowman. Oh well. I mean, it's something at least. I, I'm not gonna steal money from, uh... Uh... For, uh I'm not gonna steal a, a thing from the donation box. Um... I'd like one of those... Snowman things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. And, of course, you get the friendly price. To celebrate the Reynolds reunion. Oh. That's really cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah, pay. Here you go. And Thanks. we are now down to three pennies. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Dang it. Cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now. Before Claire and Steven come back. Christmas the wreaths. best Christmas wreaths are here. Mm. Decorate your front Quiet doors morning. with something truly special. RV. Nope. Man. It would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to just go now. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Oh. Um, yeah. You know me? Something for my little brother. You will eat your for food? Out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Uh, no way. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Uh, wicked. Man, that sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked, like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, <coughs> your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, oh my god. What do you think? Hmm. Wow. Know, but it's really cool. I'm Foot Daniel. and mouth disease What's all your... up in hi, here. Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? 
You ready? Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Uh, she looks cool, never too careful. Uh, I'm gonna side with her. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for What the, the frick? <laughs> Are you kidding? Those eyes you were so about messed up. Scoreboard hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on that. the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Uh -oh. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine. So uh, you're gonna find our dog? Well, that's oh, not God. very nice. Loitering is illegal too, and you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Mm, oh no. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> oh no. He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh god. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? Don't get involved. Prank him? No, no. I'm assuming, yeah, the, if I remember correctly, that uh, icon means use his power. We do not want to risk that, so we're just going to drop it. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. <clears throat> All right. Where anyway. Could he? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh well. The guy who painted that must have been seriously All hurt. Right. How do I let Sean? <laughs> uh, okay. Hey there. We're done. Hey, Sorry you about guys the wait. ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what I thought. really worried that coming out of the house like this has uh, led to possible bad stuff happening. Also, how much longer is this episode? I feel like I've recorded like five uh, uh, episodes during this episode already. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Cassidy? Um. Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? Uh. 
She was cool. I mean, she didn't ask us for money, so. She was cool. You're too quick. Ah! Anyway, oh, God. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Uh, doing your best. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. <laughs> yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. When I look at you and Daniel, <laughs> how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. Um. Uh, no worries. No worries. Mm. I don't feel Didn't good mean about to make doing you that, feel but. Bad. Uh, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Uh, they're nice. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems, too. Uh, sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Buddy, uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> uh, no way you can beat Kathy. You're it. What a liar. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Oh, dear. I just have this bad feeling that something's going to happen that Hello. Chris is going to try and, um... Hello? Uh, fix with his power and then find out he doesn't have power. Claire? Steven? Uh-oh. Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied How to him. did you explain it to him, though? Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. No. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. Claire said no. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. But they will they find won't out. They not know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. 
You don't even have to come with me. How are we even supposed to get in there? It's locked. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. It's locked. You're not gonna bust the... Oh, heck, I bust the door down, are you? We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. No. Yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? God. I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Uh, I don't like this. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Ew. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. I'll stay here until that would be like the perfect uh, uh, hiding spot, though. Just saying. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Uh, small key, keychain. Bible, sleeping pills, okay. Passport. Definitely not the one. Way too. No. Okay. But let's see what it opens. Now we can go over to that drawer, but first let's come over here. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Uh, audio tape, headset book. Okay. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff. I know we're going over on Definitely time, but I don't know. I, uh, again, I don't want to end up uh, ending this episode, then starting the next one, and it only being like these are Christmas presents. Oh snap! Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Uh, but I don't want to end up. Um... I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. It looked like she left something there. And she locked the door. Did you see where she put the key? I think uh, she put something in her pocket. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't want to end up Whoa. starting another episode I'm and it only being like um, ten minutes. It's not the crown so. jewels. Oh, I see, Ew. Karen. Are these milk teeth? Milk sure teeth? Gross or cute? The frick Let's calls see. them milk teeth. Milky here. Okay, so okay, Daniel. wait, can I relock this? Think hard. No, I can't. What was she wearing? <sighs> Come on, little key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't put it back. Dang it. Okay, so she put it in her pocket in the wash. Maybe. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes. I know I can. Uh, look. Yep. It's empty. I'm not going to have him do that. Come on, where is this card again? <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Come on. Yes. You got the key? You got the key. I found one key, so <sighs> it better fit. I have a horrible feeling about this. Claire's gonna walk in on us, isn't she? not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Um, she took everything. It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Mom, what do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? 
when we left. Um, it's I'm still there. Sure, everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. Man. Oh. No. That pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Seen anything special in here? I just don't want to really touch anything and then mess everything up for when Claire gets back. Claire okay, told Daniel. us not to come in here, and I told her You've that we would. Uh, to see. Claire and Steven listen. will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. I miss my skateboard and going to the park. I think I saw a moon eclipse once before Daniel was born. Lunar Never been a big eclipse. Fan of hiking. Can't like to take pictures of strangers when we mm -hmm. walk down the streets. Can't look outside, dang it. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. Wait, mm. I can't close that. That's how Mom Frick. used to smell. I miss my music. This playlist is boring as hell. Ugh. I don't recognize any of these games. I have a horrible feeling about all this. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. <laughs> they make us the yeah. no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Mm -hmm. Same too. Never seen any picture of mom in our home. Let's check out the poem. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Okay. I just want to get in and out of here as quick as possible. Is that an amethyst? Weird are these sunglasses? <gasps> she was into new age bullshit. They're not sunglasses, man. These pictures are so... random. They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during a... They looked happy. They're okay. not sunglasses, man. Oh, God. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. I think okay, I remember yeah. that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. So cool. It's like she almost never used those. All right, can Hi, we be Ulysses. done? Can we be done, please? What else is there for me to look at? The only thing I have not done is I haven't turned on the CD player and I haven't turned on the lamp. Oh God, Carl. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. All right, turn that off. So. You were a friend of my mommy's? Oh, letter. These I hope letters she took look good care of you. pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Claire's gonna walk in on me reading this, isn't she? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Oh. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? 
don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse oh. me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly ransacking our house while we're at church. <sighs> sorry. Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to. No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please. Calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. Oh, no. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Oh, no. Mom's letter. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But... You didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. <sighs> it's been eight years. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> oh, God. Listen, Sean. Speaking of burning bridges. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh. That shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy. After what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? Oh, no. No. Oh, shit. oh no! Get Daniel, do it. Goddamn thing off me! Daniel, do it now. Steven, no! Hold on, honey. We'll get it off. Come on, Daniel. No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel. Do it. Do it. Do it, Daniel. Now! Do what? What's going on? Come oh on. Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. She's you gonna freak right, out. Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Oh, God. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Thank you, Lord. Oh? Is this actually a blessing in disguise? I oh, no. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, 
That makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. Now, get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your daughter's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping God us. God dang it. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. I knew we should have been more careful. could you better come back hold on a second oh here this is your cape you're the real superhero oh thanks Chris that's super cool like you Daniel let's go er, take the troll force shortcut it's right through there nobody will find you Chris. Well, except for the people looking at the footprints in the snow. You rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa. Is that it then? I'm assuming so. And it looks like, you know, I probably could have actually uh, turned this into another episode, but oh well. I feel like a, a fake superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that. He had to find out anyway, before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help, and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Oh, Puerto no. Lula. That's He's where we belong. He's gonna burn the letter. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I 
don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make a wrong. Don't move. burn it. Look. I even got your present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. But I like it. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you too. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. The train. <laughs> Aww. Man. That's so cool. Super Sean. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. Jump on there carefully, please.
Alrighty, so that's that then. Uh, we finally finished uh, episode two out of five. So yeah, um, I don't know if there's really too much to say about that. I mean, I hope our grandparents don't get uh, uh, in trouble. I, don't, I hope they don't go to jail or anything. Um, yeah. Anyway, okay, so he threw the snowball properly. Well, yeah, I wasn't going to throw it at either of them. 1% of people threw the snowball at Mushroom? How dare you? Let's see. 55% of the people intervened and scared the cougar off. 45% let the cougar ki uh, let Daniel kill the cougar. Wow, that's a lot closer than I thought it would be. I honestly thought more people would go for uh, intervening. Even for a dog, you shouldn't kill a wild animal like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. You prayed together with Claire and Daniel. You refused to pray with Claire and Daniel. Uh, Claire prayed alone. No one prayed. How do you even get that? Wow. Ugh. Let's see, you confess to Daniel, uh, to Stephen about Daniel's power. 50-50, that is shocking, actually. Yet somehow it actually feels right. Let's see, you helped with the extra chores. Well, of course I did. Uh, let's see, you told Daniel that he did the right thing to save Chris. Uh, let's see, you used Stephen's laptop, you didn't use it. Okay. Well, yeah, logging in is... See, okay, if you were to just go online and look at news, that's one thing. But logging into online social media, that's a completely different thing. Uh, use the phone. Wait, use the phone. I didn't even know I could use the phone. Anyway, use the phone to call Lila. You didn't use the phone to call Lila. You couldn't talk to Lila and lie to her mother. You could lock, uh, talk to Lila and told her mother the truth. Huh. I didn't even know we could use the phone. Let's see, you gained Chris's trust and got him to open up about his father. You gained Chris's trust and didn't ask about his father. You didn't gain Chris's trust. Yikes. You told Daniel to stop lying to Chris about his power. You chose to protect Daniel's secret and told him to be careful. Huh. That's shocking. Let's see, you listened to Cassidy's song until the end. You didn't listen to Cassidy's song until the end. Again, I didn't even know I was allowed to. I didn't know that was an option. You drew a spaceship, you drew zombies, you didn't draw. 50% of people didn't draw? That's weird. You bought a Christmas present, you stole a Christmas present, you found several Christmas presents. You 10% of people are goody two-shoes. You had an honest conversation with Charles about his problems. You didn't get involved in Charles' problems. Uh, let's see, you let Daniel use his power to help Stephen and he wasn't hurt. You chose to pull Steven out together and injured his leg. Okay. 82%. That is definitely what I was expecting. Like, just expect... I was expecting people to actually help out there and not let him get hurt. Let's see. The cop chased you and Chris... What? The cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car? The cop chased you and Chris wasn't hit by the car. The cop didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. Oh my god! Well, boy, am I glad we didn't get Chris hit by a freaking car! 19%? How did we manage to do that? Holy crud. Oh, and these are Daniel's choices now. Okay, I understand now. Whenever it shows the big wolf, that's um, a choice for Sean. Whenever it shows a small wolf, that's a choice for Daniel. When it shows them together, that's both of our choices. Okay. Daniel continued to swear. Okay, so that one is our fault. Uh, if we would have yelled at him at the beginning, then he wouldn't have sworn. Uh, he won the dice game without cheating. Uh, he won the game while cheating. Uh, Daniel lost the game. Um... No, he did win both times, okay. Daniel didn't kill, Daniel killed, uh, Daniel was not able to... Okay, so, these two shouldn't even be separate, they should be linked, because, I mean, there's no way you can do one or the other, 
Anyway, uh, Daniel agreed to pray. Daniel refused to pray. 4%. How do you even get that one? Interesting. Let's see. Daniel tidied the room. Daniel didn't want to tidy the room. Wow. 74% of Daniels didn't want to tidy the room. That's weird. Daniel wasn't asked to help with chores. Uh, Daniel obeyed and told Chris the truth about his power. Uh, let's see. Daniel was told to tell the truth, but uh, he continued lying to Chris. Daniel wasn't asked to tell Chris uh, tell the truth to Chris. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Overall, Daniel was encouraged to use his power. Overall, Daniel was repressed from using his power. Yikes. Uh, Daniel didn't have to save Chris. Daniel used his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel didn't use his power to save Chris from the car. Okay. Uh, Daniel blamed himself for Chris's accident. Uh, Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. Okay. Daniel enjoyed his early Christmas. Daniel was too upset. Okay. Nice. And now we're going to get the uh, preview for next time, which... I'm going to let play, but I'm not going to listen to myself. I'm going to look away. I'm going to just uh, take my headset off. That way I don't get spoiled. So have fun. So this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. Your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. Alrighty, there we go. So, like I said, you guys are uh, able to see, uh, you guys just saw that I did not I just saw the the menu screen come back up so I was able to come back but anyway uh, I apologize for this episode being so long uh, again I constantly kept thinking that I was getting closer and closer and closer and closer to the end but I was constantly wrong so I apologize and uh, because this episode is going so long, I'm going to try and end it immediately. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe. And next time, we will be back starting off episode 3. So thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day then. Goodbye. I would like to give a massive shout out to my first ever Patreon backer, Nancy. I can't even begin to explain how much your support means to me. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. If you'd like to see your name at the end of my videos, just follow the Patreon link in the description below.